Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to, me, uh, to color a picture for the Fun with Fairies Color Along that I am in a collaboration for the month of June with Sandy from Color Creatively and I will be linking her YouTube channel down below in the description so go check her out. She has already started a picture for this Fun with Fairies Color Along. I want to preface this video uh, was something that happened last night. I had colored uh, over a two hour video from Cute Fairies by Jade Summer and I colored this gal, put some bling bling on her wings and everything and usually I check to make sure my phone is not full and right away off the bat when I start a video Bella's got to start up doesn't she all right I'll be right back okay. I am back and hopefully we won't get any more interruptions it is kind of early in the morning and so there are a lot of people out walking their dogs and uh, this guy who uh, walks both of his very large <laughs> beautiful dogs uh, came by so yeah, she had to go kind of crazy. So where was I? Oh yeah, recorded that long, long video last night. And uh, I always check my phone to see if it's full, to see how much is left on the phone. And this time I didn't for some unknown reason. And so at less than 10 minutes, it stopped recording and it you know deletes the whole video which doesn't matter because yeah only 10 minutes out of a two hour video you know doesn't matter anyhow um so with that being said i did want to hop on here this morning then so i can get a fairy's picture colored for this color along and i decided to color something out of this fairies grayscale coloring book by christine karen i have both of the books fairies and fairies 2 and these are just gorgeous gorgeous books so many pretty colors so i may be uh, so many pretty colors so many pretty uh pictures in it so i may be coloring out of both of these books during the month of june we shall see because i have many other uh, books fairy books to color out of too so we'll see how the month goes but anyways I thought we could color this picture and let me turn this light off this looks a little bright I thought I had it fixed um, or how does that look that's too yellow let's see how it looks with the lights off does that look better for you? It's kind of shadowy for me, but uh, kind of looks better for you guys. Um, so I thought we would color her. Um, and yeah, we will just get started. Now I have no idea what I all talked about <laughs> in the video yesterday. So if I repeat myself from a previous video, uh, you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started first with her hair. Um, I kind of want to do her hair a little bit lighter because the cattails are going to be a little bit darker brown and this is called the Cattail Fairy. Cannot see her wings, but she is a fairy. So I think let's go with Let's go with E35. I am coloring with my Copics. The paper in this particular book is just fantastic. I will get my cardstock to put the back behind. I almost forgot it again. Um, it actually has kind of a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but yeah, there's almost like a gloss to it. Um, so 
we shall start with the hair do her skin don't know how long this video is going to be um, but we shall see um, I will color until uh, shortly before I know Maddie's coming and if I don't get it done I will just finish it tonight and just make it all one video one color along video okay yeah these these books are just beautiful I will link both of these books down below in case anybody else would like to get one of them now oh, let's zoom you in huh Duh. forgetting all kinds of things this morning I uh, that one uh, that I recorded last night I had this brainy idea of getting out my ink tents and coloring with my ink tents once with you guys until I remembered that that was Amazon paper <laughs> and ink tents does not do well on Amazon paper no. Okay, what is all hair here and what isn't? I think all of this through here is all hair, isn't it? Kind of hard to tell sometimes. How far down does her hair go? I love her eyes. I think her eyes are just gorgeous. Alrighty, so how is everybody doing? It is now Tuesday morning. I had originally colored that other picture on Monday night last night and wanted to still get that up last night but yeah that didn't work out so good made me so mad I'm like how did I do that and you know I thought my iPad had just kind of had a glitch to it because I noticed all of a sudden it was no longer connected to my phone and I'm like okay last time it did that I took my phone down and um, looked at it and here it was still truly recording it had just disconnected from my phone for some reason so I had to edit that out or I would have made you guys seasick because I had yeah taken my phone down I had you know turned it around and all of that good stuff oh this must be hair in here too so I thought well I didn't want to do that again and so I was just assuming it was recording the whole while and yeah it wasn't so then when I was done recording the whole thing, took my phone down and yeah, no video there. I'm like, are you kidding me? And it wasn't just a short video either. I'm like, there went two hours of my life. 
This is extremely smooth paper. I'm not even sure how it would work with pencil. You'd almost have to get some kind of texture down first before pencils would work on this, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty. I like this color for hair. Typically, I go more for the chestnut kind of colored hair or auburn. You know, more of the red tone in the brown. But, yeah, I kind of like this. What number was this? E35. Have to remember that. What's the name of it? Chamo How do you pronounce that? Chamoy? I do believe the S is silent. Hope everybody's week is going well so far. I know it's just the beginning of the week, so it's hard to tell, right? <laughs> only one day in. By the time you see this, you'll probably have two days in. Because I will definitely be getting this up yet today. If it kills me, it will be up today. Well, okay, not if it kills me, but you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, markers work beautifully on this paper. Oh, perfect. So yeah, I thought today, seeing y'all, it's kind of a makeup video. <laughs> and I'm not sure how long I have to color thought I would just do a straight marker coloring which works perfect with the grayscale of course and that's why Jade Summers grayscale books are so much fun because they're pretty much made for straight marker coloring course you can always enhance it with colored pencil over the top for additional shading but I do think the vast majority of us just straight color those and you know I used to be so intimidated by grayscale I'm like oh there's no way I can color that until I seen Anne from A Colorful Life had put out a video last year sometime about how to color grayscale, not be intimidated by grayscale. It's actually easier to color grayscale than regular line art. And that is very true, I have found out. It is much easier. Oh my gosh, we have a midnight up here visiting. That's a first. Midnight never visits me up here when I'm coloring. It's always Misty. Because Misty's always snoopy and she's got to know what's going on. Hello, Midnight. Are you making an appearance? Uh -huh. Are you making an appearance? Okay, any more pieces of hair here? Is there hair like down? Yeah, there must be in between the cattails. I'm assuming this is all hair. And this must be hair. And 
what else would be hair down here? Do you think this would all be hair? Hmm. <laughs> or just background. Like down here too. Is that just a background or her hair? Decisions, decisions. Almost looks like her hair is coming back in, so I'm going to say that's not. Um, and I'm going to say that's not. Oh, what do you want? Huh? <laughs> He's on the side of my book here. <laughs> and I'll leave that out in case I decide that maybe that is her hair. <laughs> All right, let's, for her skin, let's go with E51. Where are you? Here we go. And that one's called Milky White. Take a sip here quick. Okay. He's the one who always likes to headbutt me. Yep, that's what he's doing. Headbutting my arm. <laughs> Midnight. You make it hard to color. Hello. He'll come up by my chair at night. And if I don't pet him soon enough, he will headbutt my arm. And if I still don't pay attention to him, he will <laughs> bring his paw up and claw at my arm. I'll decide later if I want to put some eyeshadow on her or if we'll make that skin also. Well, it is skin, but <laughs> we'll decide if we're going to make it skin tone or not. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, Christine Karen just draws so amazingly. Just beautiful pictures in here. And again, so easy to color. I mean, all I'm doing is laying this color down and it's looking pretty. Another book that I have out that I want to color in is uh, Spellbinding Images by Nikki Burnett. I have all of her books and so um, hers too. I have the easy versions. She has advanced and easy. Easy has more grayscale to it and the advanced has less shading. So, of course, I got the easy. <laughs> I am no expert in grayscale, so I thought, oh, we'll take the easy. And I had bought those quite a while ago and have yet. There you are. There you are. Hello. Now you're going to hit butt me in the head, aren't you? Because I'm so zoomed in, you can't see him, even though he's right up here by my head. Yes, hello. Now he's headbutting me. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, and I am off camera. Sorry, Midnight. You're going to have to go down, baby. Come here. Come here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get him down. Whoa. Whoa. There. Okay. Ah, yes. He doesn't like being picked up at all. My other, the girls don't mind it so much, especially Misty, my blue kitty. <laughs> ah, if you haven't seen my previous color and chat, which video was it that I talked about that? How, uh, 
Maddie got her all blue with acrylic paint. So I call her my Smurf kitty. I'll say hello, Smurfette. She is slowly getting lighter day by day, but it's just going to have to not just wear off because this is, you know, dyed now. The paint itself is out. And she's nice and soft again, but it's just, you know, her fur is now dyed that color. So as she loses the fur, and she loses a lot, so we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> Especially her tummy. She's got a pure white tummy. And, yeah, that's where most of the blue went. Now, hands typically can be a little bit darker. I don't know if I should go a little darker than E51. E51. What would be just a hair darker? Hmm. No. I think I'll just go with this then. I don't see anything that's just a little bit darker, so... But Christine put in all the nice grayscales, so this should work out fine. This must be part of her neck, huh? And then we'll put some pink on her fingernails. I mean, the detail that that she puts in these images is just amazing. I don't know how these people can draw like this. Oh. Must be able to just, you know, look at an image and be able to, you know, recreate the human face. Or to me, that would be one of the most difficult to draw. I would think that would be pretty hard. Well, let's do a real pale pink for her fingernails. And I think we'll do R00, which is a real pale pink. R00. And that is pinkish white. I think I'm going to use the fine tip on here and not the not the brush. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit darker pink for her lips because we don't want to give her like a red lipstick or anything. She's a fairy. <laughs> Well, let's go with R32. That's 22. R32. There we go. And it's called Peach. Again, I think I'm going to use my bullet tip. And I got a midnight hair here. No, it must be stuck to the tip. Here we go. Now, what did I all talk about last night? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know one thing. I had mentioned that I did get... Um, Maddie's diamond painting all done. I worked a lot um, this past weekend on that, and that is why I have not had many, you know, color and chat videos up recently because, yeah, it's been a little busy around here. How dark do I want to go? Because there's so much shading on here, I don't think I really have to go too dark of a brown. 
even though cattails are really dark. Um, gosh, what should I do? Are they kind of on the redder side? You know, like a red brown? Hmm, <laughs> let's do E39. No, let's do E99 and see how that looks. Baked clay. We'll try a small one and we'll see how I like that. So yeah, one thing um, that I would like to do before Maddie's birthday party this weekend get a video recorded that I've been promising you guys for quite a while now and just have not been able to get to is recording all of my or showing all of my finished diamond paintings. Hmm. Do you think we need to go a little bit darker than that? That is so close to her hair. I think we need to go a little bit darker. Let's put that back. So, darker than E99. Huh. I wonder. Let's try E18. That is copper. So, whoa. I'm going to go right over the top. Well, maybe I'll do this one while that one finishes drying. Not that that's going to take long, but yeah, I think I like this better. The only thing that's left to do on Maddie's diamond painting, her Minnie Mouse, is just putting the hanger on the back. So yeah, I spent the weekend... Uh, making the stretched canvas over the stretcher bars. Yeah, that looks better. And uh, trying to decide on a color <laughs> for the border, what to paint it. Got that all done. Gessoed it. <coughs> How does that look? Okay, let's come up here and do these. Wonder if I should I'm gonna use the fine tip because I looks like this one bled out a little bit, which kind of surprises me on this paper. This is not thirsty paper at all. Of course, could also be I just went out of the lines. <laughs> No, that can be. And I think for the background, even though there's like spears of grass coming up here, I'm just going to color the whole thing in with a pale blue. And it'll just look like, you know, the grasses are part of the background. Okay, let's come down here. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how I am going to record that video. Like I stated in a previous video, I may have to hang you guys from the chandelier in the dining room. Now I think I can use the brush tip. In order to get up high enough, because I have a number of very large diamond paintings that I have finished. One is for my godson. It's a big, beautiful dragon that he has not been able to pick up yet. He is from the Twin Cities, and when he does come down, a lot of times he brings his motorcycle down. So 
kind of hard to strap that to your back and get back home. <laughs> so, yeah, it's still sitting here. Oh, that's her hair. Let's get that back out. Whoops. Oh, he's in too much of a hurry. Okay. So yeah, I'll have to get that video done before Saturday, which means I'll have to get it done during the week here sometime. If I get everything together maybe the night before, I could record it then some morning before Maddie gets here. Hopefully. Because I'm going to have to get out a couple card tables. One to set all the finished diamond paintings on. And another card table to put the ones on that I showed you already. So I can kind of go back and forth, you know. And then just move the table after I have you hung up on the chandelier. <laughs> so that it's directly underneath my camera. Hope nobody gets sick from hanging from a chandelier. Because I really can't think of another way of doing it. Definitely can't do it here at my desk. I just can't get you up high enough to show everything. So, we shall see how that turns out. Along with the diamond painting, Maddie is getting, um, well, she already got it. She got it early. Um, Bob had found a really good deal. I may have mentioned this in the past. Found a really good deal on a Barbie electric car. This girl's so spoiled because she's getting a super duper nice one for our mom and dad for her birthday too. And uh, battery was, it's a used one that we got. Battery was supposed to be good in it. Yeah, not, didn't keep a charge worth a darn. So not only did we buy the Jeep itself, but we had to spend the money on a battery. And my gosh, for those teeny little batteries, they're a lot of money. In Wassa here, they wanted like 70 bucks <laughs> for one of these little batteries. But I did find one on Amazon that is compatible. It'll work in the all Fisher Price type of motorized vehicles. And it is a 12 volt. I thought it was going to only be a 6 volt for the price that we paid for it. But it is a 12 volt, and that's kind of what I wanted for her. So I found one that cost half on Amazon. It was only 35. Came in the mail the other day, and it must be just a hair bigger than the battery that came with the Jeep, because it doesn't seat right down in where the other battery does, because it's in the hood <laughs> of the Jeep where the battery goes and but it still fits under the hood itself just not exactly as how the original one did but it still works Bob tested it out 
but he only charged it for maybe an hour and I said you gotta charge it longer than that and then I had talked to Heather who had done a lot of research before she decided on the one that she bought for Maddie and yeah she said that the first time a battery is charged it's supposed to be charged like a good 12 hours so I took the battery back out of the Jeep <laughs> and plugged it in all day so it should be good to go we were gonna get it going then for her last night after she woke up from her nap <coughs> excuse me but then she was just bugging to go to the park again so that is where we went instead of getting her jeep out so maybe we'll get it out today although i did hear there's a possibility of rain now today but we are supposed to start getting warmer after this cold weekend my gosh saturday night up north of us it was a frost advisor a eh? isn't that horrible then the next night there was a freeze advisory up north and a frost advisory for us it's like this is june my heavens should not be even having to worry about covering plants and you know that is so disgusting <coughs> okay we have the cattails themselves done what color are these up here are those the same color or are they darker or lighter oh my gosh i don't know I mean, we picked cattails when I was a kid all the time, but I don't remember what color those were. <laughs> huh, maybe I'll just color them a really dark brown. Let's go with E E E. Forty nine is really dark. Let's try that. And it is appropriately called Dark Bark. <laughs> dark Bark. And we're going to have to go in here very, very lightly. Because they're pretty teeny. Oops. Not the line there. Oh. Move this over here. Sorry for my arm. Barely touched the paper. Oh my, this is a real thin one. I concentrating. Now these and then um, Maddie loves blowing bubbles but she has a hard time doing it herself <laughs> so She's always like, Grandma, blow bubbles, Grandma. So Grandma's always the one blowing bubbles. And mentioned that to Heather. And she said, well, they got her a bubble gun. And so all she has to do is, you know, push down the trigger and it blows bubbles. And I'm like, oh, that's a fantastic idea. So 
I was looking around. She is just a Minnie Mouse nut. Hence the reason I'm giving her a Minnie Mouse diamond painting. Um, and uh, at Walmart, actually, in the store, because I believe when I looked on their website it said in the store, is a Minnie Mouse bubble gun. So I'm going to be picking that up um, Friday along with her card and all that stuff. I want to get a bow to put around the diamond painting too. Let's do the leaves now. Well, no, let's do the stems. What color are the stems? Would they be darker than these leaves or lighter? Again, I'm trying to picture them from my childhood when we used to pick them all the time. Ah, I don't know. Whatever. We'll color it. Whatever. So, let's go with G16 for the stem. And then, so G16. And let's do the leaves a little lighter. G05. Why are you digging in my carpet again, dog? I don't know why you do that. She must smell something. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the small nib again for this. I don't want it to bleed out. Now this kind of comes down into here and then up to the leaf. So I'm going to just stop it there. Then we'll do this one. Like I said, I can't believe this paper bleeds at all because it is just so smooth. Well, with Bella being in here, then that means she won't be looking out the front window and barking. Of course, last time she did that, the neighbor, my neighbor in the back, never walks a dog in her yard. They don't have a dog, so they must have been babysitting there. Um, I don't know if it's their son or daughter's dog that they take care of once in a while for them. They must go on, you know, vacation or something. And, uh, yeah, figures she was out. It was when I was doing a color and chat, naturally. <laughs> and, yeah, so I just couldn't win. I figured, oh, I'm safe now. Because Bella's in here. If there's any dog that goes by in the front, she won't see him. Well, that didn't work out too well. Okay, are there any spears? Oh, yeah, there's one down here. Haven't talked about the birdies for a while. Mama's still sitting on the nest. I am assuming the baby's hatched by now, but these birds do not, the, the little ones, do not make a peep ever. Usually, you know, like other ones, I've already had, um, looks like a stem here too. I've had other babies like moms that would lay her eggs. One time I had gotten a flower basket for Mother's Day and I hung it out by my front door and a nest of robins nested in there. A nest of robins. <laughs> a mommy robin nested in there. Okay, so we got bees left. And oh yeah, you could hear those baby birds chirping away when mom came back with something for them to eat. Wow. 
Now, is that, that must be part of the border, huh? No, can't be because it goes into there. So, yeah, I am just amazed how quiet these little babies are. And like I said, she had to have laid them eggs a while ago already. So I am assuming they have hatched. And every morning I hear Dad out cooing out in... Uh, a lot of times he was always sitting on the Highline wire across the street from me. But he doesn't sit there anymore. I can still hear them, but I don't see them. Okay, did I miss anything? I think I got them all. Okay, let's go with this. Now, I think because it goes to such a tip, we will use the brush tip on these. Just a little bit lighter than the stems. Maddie's always got to, when she gets here in the morning or if we go out in the garage during the day or something, she always has to talk about the mama birdie and the daddy birdie and if she sees robins in the lawn, two birdie. Mama and Daddy. <laughs> it's so cute. Birdie. She loves watching the birdies. And she wants to go and catch them. And I said, no, you stay here. I said, you can't catch them. <laughs> said, they'll just fly away. So the frame of the picture is actually like one big leaf because it kind of all connected up there. So I think I'll be doing all of it all the way around then green on the bottom too. All right, let's go in this one. Oh, my. Oh, let me go get a Kleenex quick. I'll be right back. Well, if something can go wrong today and last night, it will. I've never had that happen. I have heard stories. You know, I'll watch. I uh, go into Copic blogs and stuff and videos and whatnot. And they talk about, you know, Copics can do that once in a while. And I've never had it happen to me. Naturally, it had to happen when I was coloring on camera. So, just have a little bit of extra green over there. Oh, I know one thing I had talked about in last night's video. Bob had taken a couple of cars up that were no longer running and took them up to the junkyard because you get a couple hundred bucks for the car. As long as the battery's in it and what was the other thing? Not the catalytic converter, but something like that then you, you know, you get a little more. So they had taken it up on a dual bed trailer that he had borrowed from a friend. And him and his brother went up. And thank heavens they were not in the car 
at the time because there was another individual who came in with a big rollback who had how many cars did Bob say there was quite a number on this big rollback and all of a sudden they heard this noise looked back and here the chain must have well supposedly snapped it had broken and the back vehicle and i think it was like an suv came crashing down onto bob's car nothing real bad oh there's part of a cat tail nothing real bad thank heavens but so i mean if they would have been in the car i guess you know they i don't know i don't you know who knows maybe they would have gotten hurt it was the front thank heavens the front fender and not you know like the whole side of the car and the guy that drove the you know that that brought up these cars for, with the rollback you know insists that yeah the chain broke but bob kind of looked at you know the chain he couldn't see anything he thinks that the guy just didn't hook it up properly and so the person that runs the junkyard the scrap metal place had to go through his insurance and see if he was responsible or if this other guy was responsible because he was kind of like an independent person of the individual that owns the scrap metal place and uh, no the driver of that other truck was responsible so he had to pay Bob what Bob felt was a fair price because Bob's vehicles older like mine you know he wasn't gonna fix it or anything so I mean it was the front fender that would have needed to have been totally replaced and headlight surprisingly was okay but I think Bob only charged him couple hundred bucks now if that was a newer vehicle and would have had to have been taken into a garage to be fixed i'm sure you're looking at thousands of dollars so this guy got off pretty lucky that it was an older vehicle that this happened to and bob could have given him a much higher price too i think but Bob's very fair and very honest. Honest to a fault. He is, you know, always, always um, very fair. If uh, he notices that he got a little bit too much change back for something or you know whether it's a dime <laughs> you know he'll bring it to their attention when he takes Bella for a walk if he finds any garbage you know pieces of paper or whatever on his walk he'll pick it all up <laughs> and then, you know even though that's not his responsibility he picks up everything it's just that kind of a guy now with this this must be green in here too no that's part of her right I colored that skin tone I think I did what did I yeah I must have colored it in with this right let's go over it again just in case because it's very dark down here i'm yeah i must have went over that okay i know you guys are probably like hey <laughs> you did go over that so yeah bob and his brother were very lucky
That could have been extremely serious. Oh my gosh. Don't even want to think about it. Let's see, what else did I talk about? <laughs> uh, oh, God. It really stinks. Uh, I know another thing I did mention. Um, if I ever say something about, you know, mentioned in a previous video or you know, refer back to this. I believe I do have all my playlists up to date, finally. It's one thing I always, oh, there's a piece of hair. It's one thing I always forget to do. I'm not in the habit of when I upload to video or to YouTube to put it into a playlist right away. So then I have to go back and edit every video and Put it into a playlist. But I think I got everything in there now. So if you want to look for color and chats or, you know, any demos, how-to videos or, you know, stuff like that. They should all be in their proper place. Not saying I didn't miss a straggler here and there. I know uh, two of them that I do have to put um, in the color along playlist are the uh, two announcement videos that I did this month for this fairies color along and for the Jade Summer color along. So I know I have to go back and edit those. Add them to the color along playlist. Okay. <coughs> a couple of weeks ago, I told Bob I wanted to get Maddie a pool for this summer. Well, I wanted to get one last summer, but by the time we looked for one at Walmart, they're completely gone. And this was early in the summer, like late spring, early summer. Yep, not a pool to be found. And at least not the kind I wanted. I had always gotten blow-up pools for like Jaden, for the other grandkids. And, you know, while they stored really nice, you know, because you could just take the air out and fold them all up. They didn't take up much room. They didn't last very long either. You know, you're lucky if you got one season out of them. They always seem to get holes. You know, and you always get patch kits with them. But, you know, it's like you patch them once. I don't know if it's because they sit out in the sun all day that that weakens maybe the, the material of the pool I don't know but yeah these those pools didn't last very long so I thought it would be easier to get just a hard sided round pool for Maddie and so yeah a couple weeks ago I told Bob I says I want to go get her a pool early enough this year where they're not all sold out <laughs> So they had three different sizes of pools and we got her the biggest one and they had a pink one there. I think this is supposed to just be all green in the background, right? This just looks like, you know, it's all foliage. So I'm going to just use the same green all over. So I wanted to hide that pool though. I didn't want Maddie to see it because when I even mentioned a pool, you know, that grandma was going to get her a pool. 
she's been bugging to get it out. Well, she doesn't even know I bought it. <laughs> so we went and now see that is part of this, isn't it? We uh, it barely fit in the van because, like I said, it was the bigger one and uh, got it downstairs in the basement so she can't see it. Alrighty, is that it? We do, let me turn the page here on you. And we will do this in green then and complete this frame. Green is not the color I would have picked for this, but seeing as how it ran down that way, and I guess it actually looks okay because it's just like part of all the foliage in the picture. Yeah, so one of these weeks I'm going to get the pool out and get some water in it and warm it up. It's going to be really nice this week, but then cool off again. So I don't think it really pays to get it out yet. I don't know. We're supposed to hit 80 on Thursday, though, but then rain on, no, not rain on Friday. Because Friday I am going to get out and spray those darn weeds. Let's do her eyes. I think I am going to give her some real pale blue eyeshadow. What is a really light blue? How about B0000000? Yeah. B0000. Okay. Really pale. Just a hint of color. Now, that should be skin there. Just put a little bit of skin tone in there. Maybe just a dab of that light pink in the corner of her eye here. Don't even know if we'll see that. Yeah, a little bit. Let's do our eyebrows. We'll do it very similar to that color. And what was that? E35. Maybe we'll go a little bit lower than, or lower, a little bit darker than E35. Let's try E57. Gonna have a gazillion uh, markers out again. E57. There we go. Light a walnut. Now I'm gonna eat well no, I'm gonna use the brush tip. We'll do some wispy strokes in here. She's looking more realistic now. <laughs> okay, we shall do this side and then we're going to do her all of these. Almost done, except for the background. We'll just do that a pale blue. Oh, that's quarter to nine. All right. What color should we do her eyes? Hmm. Do we want to do a blue, green, 
It's a lot of green in here already. Why don't we do them a pretty blue? Like an icy blue. Maybe we shall go with... Let's see, your eye should always be zero, zero, zero. Um, let's do B01. Decisions, decisions. M mint. Mint blue. Doesn't look mint blue on the color chart. Okay. I'm going to go back over that with a white gel pen just to redefine the white. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. And I think, well, no, because of the shading that Christine put in here, I guess I don't need. Usually in the eyes, the whites of the eyes, I don't typically leave white, white. Um, because it just looks really unnatural. But I am going to color the black to get that a little bit blacker. No matter how dark the grayscale is, it's still more of a gray than a pure black. So, okay. Oh, we should do green up here too. We have to turn you again. Get a sip here. Okay. So hopefully, yeah, I will get this done yet. And get it copied to my computer. Edited. And then... Well, while Maddie's here, I can, excuse me, I can let it save and render and get it uploaded to YouTube. Because you don't have to sit and babysit it then. It's just got to sit and run. She's turning out very pretty. My cat tail theory. And yes, the vast majority of all my fairies this month will be colored with marker. There are a couple in the one book that have more intricate details to the point where I may actually color some of that with gel pen. Okay, I'm hitting my marker case up there. So I'll have to see, but yeah, I would say the majority of everything is going to be marker. Okay, let's pick a pretty blue for the background. Oh, I love her eyes. Oh yeah, let's put in a little bit of white. This is a um, Jelly Roll 10. Um, learned this trick from Anne. <laughs> this is her favorite. And so I had to get it too. And yeah, I do like it. Yeah, it just kind of brings out the shine in her eyes. All right, anything else besides the background? I don't think so. Okay, so pretty blue. And maybe we'll go for a little bit on the greenish, you know, the turquoisey side. Hmm. But not real dark. Did I do, let's see, B00. Maybe I'll do that, B00. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Let's try this and see. Don't want it too dark, so I'm going to start down here and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now, we'll see, once I get to the top, <laughs> how fast I can color that to get around and not have any lines. So, we are almost done with this. That wasn't too bad. Still going to be a long enough color in chat, probably what, because I got three pieces now, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe an hour and a half. And this one better be saved or I'll give up. <laughs> Tell Sandy I am not doing fairies. It wasn't meant to be. Okay. Fast, fast. Yeah, there's a line down there. Oh, well. Yep, we're going to have lines there. Oh, well. It's really hard to cover, you know, a large area even with a brush tip. I know some like to use chisel tip on large areas, but as I've said in the past, me and chisels just do not get along. We are not buds and we will never be buds. Although I suppose the more you, like anything, the more you work with it, the better you become acquainted with that and the easier it would be but I have just always colored with or I have always preferred either the fine nib or brush tip <laughs> that's why when I heard the rumor that Arteza's new alcohol markers were possibly going to be made into brush tip along with some I don't know if it's going to be additional colors or if they're changing some of them because they heard I think if I remember right from some reviews that I seen that some of the colors were similar maybe and that they're really going to be trying to be competitors to Copic because they're going to be offering refills refill inks and refill nibs. So, yeah. That would be great if they came out with a brush tip. I've, you know, seen some reviews where some people weren't super impressed with the alcohol markers that they came out with, which is highly unusual because Everything else that Arteza has come out with has just been fantastic for the price. I mean, they really have awesome products at low cost. You cannot beat the prices of the Arteza products. And I have many of them. I have not bought like any watercolor paper or you know stuff oh yeah that's right I gotta do that strand there or you know stuff for sketching or 
anything like that because I don't do any of that. Well, I do have their watercolor pens and I have many other brands, but I believe that that's heavier paper. I would need watercolor paper that would go through my printer. And I don't think that's, I think it's heavier poundage. So, like most watercolor papers. I have a real hard time finding one. I did find one. It's in a past video of mine that does go through. And the, I think it was, was it the Battle of the Pens video where I compared a bunch of watercolor brush pens. And now, I can't remember. Or where we were testing different watercolor papers. I can't remember. But I had a whole bunch of... Now, which brown out here did I use? Chamoy, huh? Um, and I actually found a couple that worked really well. And the one, I believe it was a student grade paper that actually went through the printer and worked great for um, watercolor. You don't find that too often. And it fit through, it went through the printer. How does she look? Oh, I like it. I like how she turned out. I do like the shade of hair and it contrasts with the brown of the cattail. So that's kind of what I wanted it to do. Even in here where it's, you know, so much brown, there's, there's still a definition between the cattails and the hair. All right, so thank you for joining me. I hope um, some of you are able to uh, color along with our fairies, color along or fun with fairies for the month of June. Of course, you don't have to be coloring out of the same book. You don't have to be coloring the same picture. You color whatever you want. And if you don't have, even have a fairies book, color whatever book you want to color out of and just join along. That is fine. Long as we all have fun, right? So, again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching this color along video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and ring that bell so you know when I'm putting up new videos. I hope everybody has a terrific rest of the week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye.